What's the best toothpaste? 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 Woo! Ooh. Hello, welcome back to my channel, Dental Hygiene with Whitney. We are going to be talking about the best toothpaste. <laughs> okay, I'm here wearing my periodic table of elements shirt to talk about toothpaste. I have a minor in chemistry, no big deal, but um, <laughs> I really do. <laughs> anyway, um, you know this shirt glows in the dark? Should we try it? Well, the radioactive elements glow in the dark. It's like kind of really cool. So anyway, I'm wearing these because um, I'm just gonna talk about a few um, ingredients that are in toothpaste that may, you know, interest you. So before we talk about the four main ingredients that you probably would be interested in, the biggest, most important ingredient in toothpaste is fluoride. That's the only reason you use toothpaste. You don't even have to use toothpaste to brush your teeth. The goal is to be removing food and debris. Toothpaste isn't doing anything but making your breath fresh and providing fluoride to your teeth. I probably will talk about fluoride in another video extensively um, because fluoride is very important for your teeth and I would love to dedicate a whole video to fluoride because there's so much! But basically, for now, when we're talking about toothpastes, all you need is a toothpaste with fluoride and ADA approved. So, as long as it has fluoride and it is you're good to go. That's all you need. I'll give you some more tips though about those other ingredients that you want to know about. Pyrophosphates. Now, these are the ones that are for tartar control, calculus control. They are the leading cause of hypersensitivity. So, they're not bad, just something to keep in mind. Another ingredient is triclosan. This is marketed towards being good for your gums. It's antimicrobial. We just did two. We just did pyrophosphates and we did triglosan. Now we're going to talk about desensitizers. So, some great desensitizers are potassium nitrate, strontium chloride, and sodium citrate. These are the ingredients that you will find in Sensodyne. So that is important if you have sensitive teeth, use Sensodyne. It's great. It has these awesome desensitizers in them. It's so hard to talk seriously when you have a parent screaming and barking. She barks. She screams like... I'm sorry if it's not Ziggy. It's not. Like... Ziggy's right here being good. Ziggy is really good. So Ziggy's being good and Nala is screaming, I'm sorry. And then the last ingredient that may be in your toothpaste that is a very well-known and common ingredient is whitening. So that would be your peroxides, your carbamide peroxide, your hydrogen peroxide. Now, I know a lot of people want to whiten, which is another video. Um, I won't be discussing that right now because there's so much about whitening. Um, but basically, I don't suggest a whitening toothpaste. Not usually ever, unless your wedding's coming up or something like that. Whitening kind of, uh, you know, it's peroxide. It's dehydrating your teeth, so makes them look white. <laughs> so yeah, I, I don't generally recommend a whitening toothpaste. I get a bunch of free whitening toothpastes and I use them because, you know, whatever, they're free. But no, I like to stick to the basic anti-cavity toothpaste, fluoride toothpaste. ADA approved. That's all you need. We want fluoride. Fluoride is great. Fluoride is good. Get your enamel healthy. Get your enamel healthy with fluoride. Get your enamel healthy with fluoride. Right, Ziggy? Get your enamel healthy with fluoride. In conclusion, so there's no confusion, let me say it once again. Fluoride toothpaste. Anti-cavity toothpaste. ADA approved. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and I will talk to you guys soon.